How's it going everyone? So have you ever in a situation where you might have asked your questions, well, why is my iPhone is not updating the locations in my Find My? If you ever seen this, your location is not updating on Find My, then here is a second troubleshoot it. So without wasting any more time, let's go. The first thing this we are really, really want to take a look at is the setting itself for Find My, okay? So let's go to the settings app and tap the Apple ID here, select Find My, tap on Find My iPhone here, and you can see there's the three options, right? The Find My Network, of course, the Find My on iPhone network and location, especially the last location. If you disable these two features on your iPhone, it will never update your locations on Find My. So always make sure to enable it. So if it's already enabled, disable them and turn it on, like turn them back again. Just do a quick restart on Find My to solve your problems. Quickly after that, you want to go back to the main settings. You want to scroll down here, select privacy and security there, tap location service, select a location alert, always make sure to enable the show map in location alert. At the very same time, you want to scroll down here and tap on that find my. So make sure you're selecting while using the app. If you select never, it can give you the problem sometimes. Select that and also enable the precise locations. Now get out of here. And the next thing you got, I really want to take a look at is the date and time on your iPhone. Trust me, guys, if the date and time is not being, if, if it's inaccurate, then you might face the same problems on your device. So you always want to go to general from your settings and then you want to go to the date and time. So make sure to select set automatically right on your iPhone to solve that problems for your device. Now, after that, just simply go and restart your iPhone and I can tell you guys your problem is going to be solved. However, if you still have got the same problem, last thing you guys can do, you can simply log out your Apple ID and lock it back on. I think you're all good to go. Still have questions about this problem? Please do let me know in the comment section to get more further help in there. See you guys around.